Hi guys, I'm Andrea. Welcome back to my channel, Fall for the Smell. It is a cold and cloudy February day, but I am happy with a package that I received. It is my very, very first Polish Choice skincare order, and I'm going to unbox it with you. Um, as you can see, it's not a big order, but um, there are beautiful contents in this pretty blue box. Um, so Polish Choice is has like a cult following. They have excellent sales online. I was able to get this order. I think I, sorry about that. I think I got 20% off one item and then ended up getting like 30% off. I got 8% cash back when I used Rakuten. If you're not using Rakuten, sign up. It's totally worth it. And it's only a couple extra clicks before you go into um, the website that you're shopping from, whether it be Amazon or Sephora, Paula's Choice, Macy's, and you will get cash back put straight into your PayPal account. Really basically just for buying what you were already going to buy anyway. Anyway, <laughs> going off on that um, tangent, I have never put a Paula's Choice item on my face. <laughs> But I have known about her and followed Paula, who is a real person, for years. And I want to show you the three books that I was able to get um, at the library before we delve into the actual haul. The main one, <clears throat> I don't know if any of you know about this, but I don't know how you say her name, Bagoon or Bagoon, um, seems very French. Uh, she wrote a book book back in the early 90s called Don't Go to the Cosmetics Counter Without Me. And I was about 12, 13 years old when that first edition came out. I don't believe I ever had my hands on the very first edition, but I remember pouring over it. And this is huge in very, very small font, just pouring over it um, as I was finishing middle school, going into high school. Um, I basically had no money. My mom was not super into cosmetics. We got everything at Walmart. But then I had friends that had these beautiful displays in their homes with Estee Lauder and all the gifts and things that came with them. And I just, I loved it from the beginning. And I just kind of became a really a girly girl after that, um, especially in college and post-college when I was able to afford things on my own. But I kept going back to her book. This is the ninth edition, and I believe this one didn't even come out until like 2014, possibly. And so there's been multiple editions. It gets thicker every year, and it's just broken. Oh, yeah, this one's 2012. And it's just broken down. Like you can see Chanel and then Chanel concealers. And then it goes into Clarins. And it's just all in alphabetical order. She does reviews. Let me just find a random one. Something that we're all familiar with. Okay, so Makeup Forever Mascara. Um, she gave a check mark and happy face and best and then three dollar signs meaning it was a little more expensive I believe for their lengthening waterproof mascara that was twenty three dollars at the time and Paula absolutely loved it and then I believe that she does go into her own items of course and she's <laughs> she's very in love with her products she doesn't give any thumbs downs but there's a lot a lot of good information here if you can get your hands on this i just got it at my local library through our interlibrary loan here in kansas city and it really took me back to those like long hot summer nights when i would just pour over my bed and just look at this for hours and i didn't even have the product with me i just i think that's where my love affair with skincare began so i think it's funny that i'm finally now at age 40 in February of 2020 getting my first Paula Choice skincare haul and I also have two of her other books that you may not know about um, this is the third edition of her original beauty bible and it just talks about everything like rosacea and it said uh, hormones for wrinkles and healing hormone replacement therapy, understanding UV, skincare products with age. So it is fascinating. This one is about 450 pages. 
This, uh, don't go to the cosmetics counter without me. This thing is heavy. It is over a thousand pages. <laughs> and again, this is the ninth edition. So there are other ones out here. And it went, it took me way back when I saw the original, when I was kind of messing around on Google and saw the one that I used to look at. And then um, she has another book called The Best Skin Care, Care of Your Life Starts Here, Busting Beauty Myths So You Know What to Use and Why. And I've never seen this one, but I'm starting to look at it. And do mind you, I'm 40 and all of this was kind of pre-YouTube where we could, couldn't just go on and get other people's opinions, see how it looked, see before and after photos. Um, look at the internet, look at Instagram. It was, this was all like, this was kind of the original, what do I do with my skin and what are the best products for my money? Um, this one was the newest at 20, 2015 and I am going to um, look over it and see if it has any helpful hints. But I have a lot of respect for Paula and the things that she does, like her her airless pumps and uh, just making sure SPF is in her skincare and so forth. So all that aside, let's go through the haul finally. <laughs> and um, I do have uh, dry skin and mature skin. I am 40, as I said. So I am always looking especially in these winter months and February in the Midwest, I'm always looking to hydrate. Um, so let me show you the items that I have here. Um, this is the Paula's Choice, the Unscrub, and this was an Allure Beauty favorite. This one um, is non-irritating, fragrance-free, and never animal tested, and that's how all of our products are. Um, I believe all of them are fragrance-free, which is a thumbs up. And um, this one says it has dissolving bees that gently smooth skin. So four ounces, thought I would give it a try. So that's the unscrub. And then I got a toner. And this is smaller than I thought it was going to be. But um, toner for me is something that I really started putting into practice about a year ago. I used to use the alcohol kind of stripping ones. Like, do you remember the four-piece, four-step Mary Kay of back in the day, that's what I used um, when I was a student at KU. And luckily I had good skin <laughs> to put up with that brutalness. You do not need to put alcohol on your face. Um, toners now prepare your skin, refresh your skin, and are hydrating. And this one, again, is Calm Soothing Toner for Normal to Dry Skin. It is also four ounces. And um, I do have a little bit of redness sometimes, so I'm hoping that this takes care of it. And the Polish Choice website is super easy to navigate because you can put in your skincare concerns, your skin type, and then kind of feeds you into different areas that might help you. And um, many, if not all the items also come in a smaller size so you can try them out um, at a fraction of the price, like a dollar or $2 to do that. Um, and then I have the Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. There are several people on YouTube that I've watched for years that um, cannot be without this and go through a lot of it. Um, people just love it and I know that I am going to as well. So excited to try that out. And then um, I have the 10% Niacinamide Booster. Now the 20% niacinamide booster just came out and I actually listened to Dr. Dre's uh, review and thoughts of it today while I was at work. We can't watch to YouTube, but we can have earbuds in and listen to movies and music and YouTube. So um, her Q&A videos are really right up my alley when I'm working and kind of in the zone. And uh, if you want to check that out, she has thoughts. Uh, I don't know if I'll try the 20% niacinamide booster. She seemed to thought it, seemed to think it was a little bit of overkill, and I do respect her opinion, and not just because her name is Andrea, too. Um, but I'm going to start here with the 10% niacinamide and see what I think, see how that does on my skin. And then, let's see here. I did end up with three smaller items and this will close out my haul. And uh, Polish Choice is great about giving you like two of the smaller samples. You can purchase these sizes, like I said, for a fraction of the cost, like a 
dollar to five dollars get everything in travel size for those of you that travel frequently um, but this one is the resist barrier repair moisturizer with retinol and I know a lot of you use this and love it so that is going into my skincare regimen and then the X Exfoliate 2% BHA liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid. So that is a little one ounce bottle and that will give me an idea of if this is gonna be a product that works for me. Um, and then I'll go into the full size. And that is something that I really like to do is to try out a smaller size, to try out the smaller gift kits from places like Sephora, Ulta, even Target and see what I think. So I love that Paul's Choice does that. And uh, these were, you know, gifts with purchase anyway. And then I have the 8% AHA gel exfoliant. So uh, here is the liquid 2% BHA. This is the 8% AHA, AHA gel exfoliant. So I've got a few different things going on here. Um, but those are my seven items. And I just wanted to share those three books that Paula had written, and she's just a skincare guru, lots of respect. Um, everyone loves her products. I don't ever hear anyone say, I'm allergic to Paula's Choice, or Paula's Choice did terrible things for my skin. It's always, um, for the most part, praise or just, you know, just a average or be, be or above average, average or above average praise for her. And I am just happy that we live in the age of <laughs> Instagram and YouTube and the internet where I can do a couple clicks and have it on my front porch in a couple days. So just wanted to share it with you. I'll be checking back to let you know how I'm liking it. Please let me know what uh, your ride or die Polish Choice products are as well and if any of these items are ones that you have been using and loving. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.